Welcome to the Shade Tree Shelter for Women and Children. This building is nine years old and each year the number of people that come seeking services has grown. Each year through these doors, 3,100 women and children come in seeking assistance from the Shade Tree. They start with this room, the intake office. We go through all of the things that they're looking for and make sure this is the right place for them. Behind these doors is our first floor day room where we're able to provide a hot breakfast and lunch for all of the women and children that are residing here at the Shade Tree. In addition, we're able to use that space for seminars and classes. 51 different life skills classes are provided for the women and children to help them get on their feet. This small room ends up being um, very much of a safe haven for the women that are here from domestic violence. And that's about 800 women per year. And then they also have support groups in this room. Um, some of those support groups are facilitated by professionals from the community, but most of them are ran by our own staff who use an I am powerful approach. So when the women come in, they're not sure what their future holds. And in this room, their lives are changed. Outside this door, we have a healing garden so that when the weather's nice, the women and children can go out, relax, gather their thoughts, and then come back inside and continue to work on the plan that's gonna bring them toward wholeness. Hi, welcome to the Children's Center. The Children's Center is um, here to address the needs of homeless children that come to the Shade Tree. Um, some of our programs are homework help, as well as we have art programs. Um, we also teach nurturing parenting program to the mothers that stay here. Um, we are staffed in the Children's Center with an educational coordinator who helps the mothers enroll their children in school and also sets the kids up with backpacks and school supplies. Our walls are lined with art done by the children here at the Shade Tree. Art that is therapy for them, that helps them release their emotions and express themselves. There's a piece that a young lady did. Um, she made several trips to the Shade Tree. Um, when she started, it was kind of an emotional outlet. Um, as she went on, she kind of got into more um, cartoonish art as she was able to lighten up and become more of a kid. Um, we also have a playground in the back where the moms and kids can come out. Um, and interact as well. Um, our goal in the Children's Center is to have the moms having positive interactions with their kids. So it's not um, like where you would just drop your child off and then you go to a meeting or anything like that. The, the goal is to, for the moms to get in there and learn how to positively interact with their kids and learn how to play with children. This is the emergency shelter floor. The women and children that are able to stay with us are here because of the economic impact. So they've either, either lost their home to foreclosure or they lost their employment and weren't able to keep an apartment that they were renting. We've been so full lately that not only are the dormitories that I'll show you the places where the women and children stay, but we've also been using cots so that we try not to turn people away um, due to lack of space. Everything that we do in this building is um, to empower the women and to let them know that they're worthwhile and valued to us. And so this mural really summarizes what our philosophy is, that anything is possible and change is possible while the women and children are staying with us. One of the things that sets the shade tree apart from other shelters are that women can bring their teenage sons with them. And so while the women and children come in together as a family at nighttime when it's um, lights out, then the boys go into their own separate sleeping quarters, which turns out to be a lot more like summer camp than anything else in the building. In the family dormitory, families of all sizes are able to find um, a little bit of peace and quiet and to still be able to interact. And then to adjust the enormous um, increase in babies that we're seeing, we have uh, the smaller cubicle for new moms. Currently we have about 40 babies under the age of two staying with us. I'll take you into the singles dormitory. It's really overwhelming to walk into this room because it's a sea of beds. All of the women that are in this dormitory are provided the bedding and linen. Um, as soon as they enter, the shower kits and all of the things that they need, especially since most of the people come in with only the clothes on their back. We provide their clothing and all of the things that they need from the first day until the last day of their stay. They come in not even knowing each other and then by the time they've had a, about a week's stay here, they're the best of friends. 
Often those friendships will continue after their shelter stay and they'll go and rent part apartments together and share expenses to help each other get back on their feet. I'm going to take you over to Noah's Animal House, which is a great partner to the shelter for the women and children. We have the capability to provide sanctuary to the pets of our women and children right here on site. This room is where all of our newcomers um, start their stay at Noah's Animal House. So the vet comes in and makes sure that all their vaccinations are up to date. If they have any injuries or illnesses, they're addressed while they're in here. And as soon as they're ready, they can go out with all the other dogs and cats. Each day they come over and feed them, give them water, and of course have the opportunity to give them all the love that they would be getting if they were at home in their own living room. If the women are too ill or too injured, then we have volunteers that um, graciously provide that love and nurturing and feeding and bathing so that the animals are well cared for. Noah's Animal House is one of only a handful of sanctuaries that are on site for domestic violence victims, but you can see from the pets being closed and cared for and loved that it means all the difference for their survival and for the survival of the women and children that have already suffered domestic violence. They had to leave everything behind, and so for them to be able to be here and have their pets really means the world to them. Resource Department of the Shade Tree provides resources to the women, sh children, and pets of the Shade Tree. Here is where we get our supplies. Donations come in from the public, different groups, and we sort through the donations for gently used items to provide to our clients. We accept toys, blankets, anything that can be used for the women and children of the Shade Tree. This is our Dress for Success, the Shade Tree Boutique. Here the ladies are seeking clothing that can also assist them in interviewing when they're going out to look for work in the community. We also provide the ladies with shoes to go with the outfits they'll be wearing when they're looking for work. Provide them with makeup, perfume, body sprays, anything that will need to enhance their look and have them feeling self-confident about who they are. Job development, we offer 14 core employment classes to the young ladies here at the Shade Tree. We also assist by preparing the ladies for employment by assisting them searching, obtaining, and retaining employment at a level of a wage. This young lady here is working on her resume. She's submitting applications online to those potential employers. This is the third floor of the Shade Tree Shelter. It's open 24 hours a day. This floor is also part of our long-term stay, so the women and children can stay here up to two years. This allows them the opportunity to save their money as they prepare to move back out to the community. Everything that I've described so far is provided free of charge to the women and children so that they have the best opportunity of saving the most money to get them back on their feet. About a year ago, we realized that the ambulance was coming to the shade tree about six times per day. The women were not able to access safe health care either because of domestic violence or because they didn't have the money to pay for it. And so everything became an emergency before they could address it. Hi, I'm the clinic manager and this is the Stallman Toro Clinic. Um, we provide free medical care for every woman and child living at the shelter free of charge. So it's a great opportunity for women that otherwise wouldn't be able to see a doctor or leave the shelter or because they don't have health insurance. This way, through the generous time and donations of uh, the medical providers in our community, they're able to see a pediatrician or to see a gynecologist or to see a, a doctor. The circumstance where they're not able to um, pay for a prescription, we help them with a gift card to get a prescription filled. And we're looking for more um, doctors to come in and volunteer so we can offer more services and more clinics uh, to the women and children living here. The Shade Tree Mission states that it offers life-changing services, promotes stability, self-reliance, and dignity. I feel that they've lived up to their mission.